Hi everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody's all right today. It's Thursday, March 28th. Currently it's 40 degrees. High today is going to be 53. It was like 64, I think, yesterday. Uh, chance of rain zero and winds at six mile per hour. And today there will be a delicious meals video. I, I get so many, I make so many shorts and I don't really put them out that often. Um, so I, I, I make them in, together into a video, you know, and it, it works a lot better that way for me. Okay, so check that out and it's got a warning on it that it may make you hungry. It made me hungry just looking at it again. <laughs> Okay, uh, what's for dinner tonight? Um, we've got some leftover boneless, skinless chicken. And I was thinking about, I don't know if we... We're trying not to buy any more groceries, really, until the first of the month. Um, things have been tight. This is the first month that we've had to change our... Excuse me, change our budget to, um, you know, include uh, the $175 we're paying for... Uh, Joy's uh, Medicare, uh, you know, premium. So um, that's going to be hard to get used to. We can tell that already. So uh, just trying to be real careful and, you know, uh, see how it goes. Because we, we need to, you know, probably make some changes here and there and try and make things a little bit, a little bit better. So anyway, um, I don't really want to, like I said, go get anything. I might have to, but I think I'm going to make some chicken salad with that. Um, put some onion in it. I don't know. I wonder what relish would be like. I know it's good in tuna salad. Maybe some relish or some cut up pickles or something. Um, I think I've still got some uh, lettuce so you could put on them. Well, see, I'll just have to, you know, improvise. That's what kind of what I've been doing for a few days, and uh, it's worked out great. Everything's been been really good, you know. So I think we'll have chicken salad wraps with the. I got three of those tomato uh, wraps from Aldi left, or three or four. I'm not for sure how many's there. Uh, and we'll probably just have some chips. I don't know. They may want some fries or something. We haven't had any fries in a while. We've been trying to keep away from eating a lot of fries and stuff too you know even though we bake them they are better for you to bake them they're still carbs uh, you know quite a bit of carb to them but um we'll see about that chips don't have a whole lot of carbs in them i don't believe uh okay let's go for jokes of the day a beginner rider at the stables was trying to saddle a horse excuse me said the old hand but you're putting that saddle on backwards. How do you know, snapped the student. You do not know which way I'm going. <laughs> That's not the way it works. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, flight one, two, three, four. The control tower advised, turn right 45 degrees for noise abatement. Roger, the pilot responded, but we're at 35,000 feet. How much noise can we make up here? Sir, the radar man replied, have you ever heard the noise a 727 makes when it hits a 747? <laughs> well, that was a funny way to tell him to, to uh, you know, stay out of the path of the, uh, the other uh, plane. Okay, this thought of the day is from Marilyn Monroe. It's not true that I had nothing on. I had the radio on. <laughs> okay. Okay, and uh, I think this might be interesting. Start challenge. Journey through nostalgia lane with our quiz on our favorite kid shows. Must be something different. Which of these is a children's television program host, hosted by Buffalo Bob? Buffalo Bob. It shows a picture, but that's not, I don't think that's from Buffalo Bob's show. Uh, Sesame Street, Fraggle Rock, The Muppets, Howdy Doody. 
It's howdy doody time. It's howdy doody time. Da -da 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 -da. I don't remember all of it. Uh, well, I just remember it's howdy doody time. It's howdy doody time. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sesame Street, Fraggle Rock, Muppets, howdy doody. And I say it's howdy doody time. Howdy Doody is an American children's television program with circus and western frontier themes that was created and produced by Victor F. Campbell and E. Roger Murr. Bob Smith, the show's host, was dubbed Buffalo Bob early in the show's run. Uh, so, yeah. It, wow, it's, it broadcast on NBC from December 27, 1947 to September 24, 1960. Wow. It's been a long time. Next one. Which of these TV characters had a talking purple backpack? Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, Dora the Explorer. Bob the Builder. Uh, Kermit the Frog. SpongeBob, Dora the Explorer, Bob the Builder, Kermit the Frog. I don't think it's, um, hope you've picked what you thought, but I, I don't think it's Kermit. I don't remember anything like that on, uh, Kitty, what are you doing? SpongeBob. Uh, it sounds like Dora the Explorer would probably have a backpack. That's right. Dora the Explorer is an American media franchise centered on an eponymous, there you are, uh, animated interactive fourth wall children's television series created by Chris Gifford, Valerie Walsh Valdez, and Eric Weiner. The franchise had its roots in the television show with the same name which centers around Dora Marquez, a seven-year-old Latina girl and so on. Which character from Sesame Street lives in a trash can? Gonzo, Beaker, Animal, Oscar the Grouch. Used to watch this with the kids. Lives in a trash can. Gonzo, Beaker, Animal, Oscar the Grouch. I believe it was Oscar. Yeah. Oscar the Grouch is a Muppet character created by Jim Henson and John Stone for uh, Sesame Street. He has a green body, no visible nose, and lives in a trash can. Oscar's favorite thing is trash, as evidenced by the song I Love Trash, with a the running theme being his collection of seemingly useless items. <coughs> Who was the host of the 80s children's show, Reading Rainbow? I don't, I, I don't really know this. Steve Burns, Fred Rogers, LeVar Burton, and Carol DeMoss. The show, Reading Rainbow. <coughs> Steve Burns, Fred Rogers, LeVar Burton, Carol DeMoss. Uh, wow. I think it's odd that they put LeVar in there if it's not. It, I was thinking maybe it could be him. It just doesn't seem like the same. Like Fred Rogers is Mr. Rogers, I, I believe. Fred Rogers. I don't know who Steve Burns is or C-A-R-O-L-E-D-E-M-A-S. But I know Le LeVar did a lot of different things. And I, I, it seems like at one time... I remember him being on some kind of a a children's show. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I might be wrong. Lavar. Yeah, it is. So I did remember right. Lavar Burton was cast as the host of Reading Rainbow in 1983. The show was produced first by Lancet Media Entertainment from 1983 to 2001. And then by on-screen entertainment from 2002 until its final year, 2006. Hmm. It has collectively won 250 awards. Wow. So should have kept going with it, maybe. 
Which cartoon mouse is constantly chased by Tom? Shows a little mouse. Speedy, Mickey, Pinky, Jerry. I think everybody's probably going to know this one. <clears throat> Speedy, Mickey, Pinky, Jerry, it's Tom and Jerry, and that was always hilarious to me. Um, I think they've kind of calmed down. I saw one, uh, I don't know how long ago it was, on something. I don't know if it was even on TV, it may have been on something like, uh, I don't know, Instagram or something. I saw something, and it seems like they have kind of toned down the violence. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of violence in Tom and Jerry. I don't know if it's still that bad. It didn't seem like, what I saw didn't seem as like when, when we were a kid. But Tom and Jerry is an American animated media franchise and series of comedy short films created in 1940 by William Hanna and Joseph Barbara. Tom is a gray and white domestic short hair cat. He is usually, but not always, portrayed as living a comfortable or even pampered life, while Jerry whose name is not explicitly mentioned in the debut appearance, is a small brown mouse who always lives near Tom. Jerry also possesses surprising strength for his size, and it just goes on about him fighting back and forth. In which of these cartoons is the main character a monkey? Bob the Builder, Curious George, Bluey, Phineas, and Ferb. I think uh, I think a lot of y'all will know this one too. Bob the Builder, Curious George, Bluey, Phineas, and Ferb. Uh, it's Curious George. Captivating the hearts and imaginations of children and adults alike with his inquisitive and endearing nature, Curious George first came to life in 1941. Wow. Uh, this delightful little monkey has starred in popular children's book, inspiring television shows, films, and educational apps, cemented, cementing his status as a beloved cultural icon. Six right, none wrong so far. Wow. Who created the Muppets? Jim Henson, Steven Spielberg, Walt Disney, George Lucas. Jim Henson, Steven Spielberg, Walt Disney, George Lucas. Um, I, I think a lot of people will know this. It shows uh, Kermit there. Uh, that it's Jim Henson. Watched a lot of this, that with the kids too. The Muppets are an American ensemble cast of puppet characters known for an absurdist, burlesque, and self-referential style of variety sketch comedy. Created by Jim Henson in 1955. Golly, I didn't realize it that long ago. They're the focus of a media franchise now owned by Walt Disney Company. That encompasses television, film, music, and other media associated with the characters. And they've had several movies, too. I got seven right. I got three more to go. Which beloved TV personality was an ordained Presbyterian minister? And I think I know this as well. Bill Daly, Carl Sagan, Mr. Rogers, Leonard Nimoy. Shows an old-fashioned TV, those older ones. Um, Bill Daly, Carl Sagan, Mr. Rogers, Leonard Nimoy. And that would be Mr. Rogers. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Any, yeah, that's right. Uh, anyone, let's see, I'll put it down. Anyone with kids in a television set knows Fred Rogers. And did you know he was a Marine? I believe he was, it was a Marine. And he has like, they say he had like tattoos on his arms and stuff from being in the Marines and stuff. So interesting. You'd never know. That the guy would be, have like, his, his, uh, what, his hands are registered as deadly weapons or something, you know, being a ex-Marine. Uh, anyway, 
Anyone with kids in a television set knows Fred Rogers. Three generations of children have grown up with Mr. Rogers, the friendly sweater and sneakers clad grown up who talks frankly about feelings and invites them to be part of his TV neighborhood. What is less likely known is that Fred Rogers is a Presbyterian minister ordained in 1962 by Pittsburgh Presbytery. Is he still alive? I, I don't know. I thought he, I thought he passed away. I mean, I hope I'm wrong, but, uh, yeah, so that's Fred, that's eight, who is married to Barney in the Flintstones, picture of Fred and Barney, one of my all-time favorite, uh, cartoons, uh, who's married to Barney, uh, Janie, Sue, Donna, Betty, well, uh, Janie, J-A-N-E-Y, Sue, Donna, Betty. It is Barney Rubble and Betty Rubble. Barney and Betty. The Flintstones, and that's right, is an American animated sitcom produced by Hanna-Barbera Productions. The series takes place in a romanticized Stone Age setting and follows the activities of the titular family, the Flintstones, and their next-door neighbor, the Rubbles. It was originally broadcast on ABC from September 30, 1960 to April 1, 1966. I thought it was actually on longer than that. Hmm. Uh, it was the first animated series to hold a primetime slot on television. I remember it was on in primetime. Uh, the show follows the lives of Fred and Wilma Flintstone and their pet dinosaur Dino, uh, eventually seeing the addition of Baby Pebbles. Barney and Betty Rubble are their married neighbors and best friends. They adopt baby super strong Bam Bam and acquire a pet hopper named Hoppy. Okay. Got one more to go. Let's see if I can make it a perfect one. Which Flintstones character is used as a term in 10 pin bowling? Hmm. What? Which Flintstones character? is used as a term in 10 pin Barney Rubble, Bam Bam, Wilma Flintstone, Dino. I don't know what um, a term in bowling. I don't, I, I mean, I, it doesn't sound right to say, so the, the answers are Barney Rubble, Bam Bam, Wilma Flintstone, Dino. Uh, the only one that, that makes sense at all to me, I mean, you're not going to say, wow, I just got a Barney Rubble. You know, uh, I just picked up that Wilma Flintstone on that one, or, or Dino. I think it, it, the only one that sounds possible would be Bam Bam. Let's see if I end up missing one. Oh, and I did miss. Oh, so what else could it be to Barney Rubble? It's a Barney Rubble. <laughs> oh my goodness. A series of two strikes is... What? A series of two strikes is known as a double or a Barney Rubble to rhyme. Hey, you got a double. You got a Barney Rubble. <laughs> I played... Uh, I mean, I, I did uh, bowling for years and years. I never heard of a Barney Rubble. And a, a series of three is known as a turkey... Sometimes a sizzling turkey on the first three frames. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I ended up missing one. Nine and one today. That last one got me, but I don't know. That doesn't even make sense, really. A Barney Rubble double. A double Barney Rubble. Or a Barney Rubble. <laughs> anyway, oh, just had to do it to me on the last one. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed trivia time today and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. Check out Delicious Meals video later on. Um, I might have to watch that again just to make me hungry for dinner. Bye, everyone, and God bless.